Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are doing a video review of the Masters of the Universe Revelation Battle Cat figure from Mattel. He is part of the new Netflix series, which will be a new animated series launching in July 2021. This is also part of the Masterverse line, meaning that it could uh, lead into other things. Perhaps Masters of the Universe Classics, I'm not sure yet, so we'll probably know more at PowerCon 2021. Speaking of which, I will not be attending this year due to COVID. I wanted to uh, wait a little bit longer until I attended these type of shows. I tried to purchase the exclusives, and like you, the site crashed, and I couldn't get any orders in, unfortunately. So I'm going to be trying to uh, find out what's going on, hoping that uh, more exclusives will be released, because it seemed to just sell out too fast, and I know a lot of people uh, texted me and asked me these questions that uh, they also experienced site crashing and they couldn't get their order in, as well as Big Bad Toy Store. Those just flew right off the store. So stay tuned for updates on that, and I will uh, let you know as soon as I know something. Uh, going back to Battle Cat, he will be uh, available as of June 2021. This is an advanced uh, sample and review. I got it through other means, not through Mattel. Just wanted to make that clear. Pre-orders are not live yet, so I'm expecting uh, pre-orders to launch uh, anytime. I don't know. I don't have a date. Uh, getting that kind of information is very, very hard. So stay tuned daily for updates, and I will let you know as soon as I know something. The packaging is a window box packaging, and it's beautiful. Just look at that very nicely done uh, execution here. And you see Battle Cat carefully positioned in a plastic tray. Side of Battle Cat, you have beautifully done artwork here. And the other side is just a logo. Battle Cat fighting Tiger. Go to the back of the packaging and what you have is just phenomenally done artwork. Loving what I'm seeing here. You also have a brief description down here. And if you look closely, it says if you remove the mask, as well as the armor, I should add, uh, this could be Cringer. However, in the 80s show, Cringer was depicted as a much smaller cat that when he, uh, Prince Adam transformed, he would also transform Cringer into a much larger, fierce looking cat, which you see right here. So, in my opinion, just removing the mask isn't Cringer. Uh, Masters of the Universe Classics, Mattel released a non-articulated Cringer figure, which was supposed to be a placeholder. And people have been waiting years and years for an articulated Cringer. Mattel promised, never delivered on that. Super 7 never delivered on that. I don't think uh, Super 7... I don't remember what Super 7 said about that. But ultimately, that never happened, and they can call this Cringer, but to me, it's Battle Cat without the mask and armor due to the size. Down here, you have a look at the rest of Wave 1, which includes Skelegod, which is a 9-inch figure, He-Man, Moss Man with uh, sculpted uh, fur and everything. He's not flocked, unfortunately, like the 80s figure was. Uh... And also the Masters of the Universe Classics figure was flocked. This one, however, is not flocked. Skeletor and Evil Lynn, which you see right here. Evil Lynn is tan and not yellow, in case you weren't aware of that. Let's take a closer look at the description. So what I'm going to do now is open this up and let's take a closer look. Here is your in-hand look at the new Masterverse Battle Cat figure, which again is not up for pre-order yet. He's available as of May 2021. So check back uh, daily on the site for updates is when uh, pre-orders will launch. Again, I don't have that information offhand. The figure is big, massive, and in my opinion, he looks great. I used the Motu Classics Castle Grayskull as the scale, as that was designed for 7-inch scale figures. 
So here's a look at the sides of them. Very nicely done. The fur is sculpted. And there's also a lot of similarities as far as the Motu Classics release, such as the articulation. So as far as that, you pretty much know what to expect with this new release. The mask is removable, as is the saddle. And if you remember from the instructions, it said once you remove the mask and the saddle, you have Cringer. Well, in my opinion, you don't really have Cringer in that regard. Cringer was depicted as a much smaller character and can only become larger when he was... Here's a look there. Uh, when He-Man powered, or Prince Adam powered up to become He-Man, he also powered up Cringer to become Battle Cat as well. So, there's your look there. So, once the saddle is off, you see all of the articulation. Uh, two ball joints right there. Very nicely done. Articulated neck. You also see the joint on the for the tail as well. Let's take a closer look at that so you guys can see. The face, very nicely done. Great paint apps. I'm very impressed with this figure right here. Hinged jaw. Mouth can open and close. There's your look there. And let's take a closer look inside that mouth. Really giving you guys a good look there. The belly, you lose the stripes, but you see all that great sculpted fur right there. Let's take a closer look at those stripes. So there's a little bit of uh, bleeding. Some of the green is showing through in various places, but I can live with that. They also have the stripes on the tail here, and also the tip of the tail is painted in a lighter green or I should really say two different shades of lighter green before you get to the darker green that's used for the entire body. So, as I said, once the mask and saddle is off, he's Cringer. Well, not in my opinion. That's Cringer. That is the Motu Classics Cringer that they released in Motu Classics. This is the non-articulated one as they promised to release an articulated one. Well, they never delivered on that promise. Unfortunately, people have been waiting uh, seven, eight years for it. Nothing became of it, both Mattel and Super 7, unfortunately. So this is a, as I said, non-articulated cringer, but great likeness. They really did a nice job on them. And there's a comparison between the two. Here is the comparison that we've all been waiting for. A look at how the Revelation Battle Cat measures up with the Motu Classics release. As you can see, this new one is bigger, bulkier, and much better joints. There are several joints on the Motu Classics Battle Cat. On the left right here, as you can see, it falls off a little bit they're a little bit weaker i'm actually that glad that happened just now this way you guys can see what i'm talking about uh the new one much better made and they did a much, very good job on it very happy with how it came out i actually wish that this is how the motu classics battle cat came out years ago on uh, manny collector but unfortunately that is not the case so here's a comparison with the sides of the body and everything. I want to give you guys a look, see what I'm talking about. You see how the new one and old one measure up. Let's put this one here. So there's your comparison there. You definitely see that the new one is taller as well. And wider in size just a little bit 
The other thing I want to point out is that the mask on the Motu Classics version, as well as the saddle, is made of a harder plastic, while this mask here is made of like a softer plastic. It almost feels like rubber. You see me squeezing it there? Well, for some reason, they went with the softer material. My guess is that it's cheaper than the harder plastic. And that also carries through with the saddle as well. The saddle is even more of a rubbery material than the mask. So you should be able to see me playing with it on camera right here. You can squeeze it all the way. It's just made with a different material. The Motu Classics release had a harder material, much closer to the vintage toy release, but you can still squeeze it a little bit, just not as much as this new release. And the other joints for the Motu Classics Battle Cat that I've always had an issue with was the back of the legs right here. They just seem to fall down like that. So you got to play with it to make sure you got it in a good stand. The other release, this new one right here, the joints are much better made and that issue doesn't really happen. Let's look at the back of the tails. So tails, very similar, which you see there. This one's a little bit more bulkier, a little bit more paint applications on there and the stripes are further apart compared to the Motu Classics release, which you see right there. One last comparison between the two figures is how the figure looks without the mask on. You see the, there's much more sculpted detail on the Motu Classics release, while this one a bit more basic which you can see here. It's not as detailed, no sculpted uh, lines in the skin or anything. It's just a smooth sculpt right there. But as I said before, you have that sculpted fur. So the sculpt itself isn't smooth, but it has that smooth look and design compared to those wrinkles you see on his nose, as if the Motu Classics version of Battle Cat was snarling. Here's a comparison between the Revelation Battle Cat as well as the Origins release, which is also brand new as of 2020. Just want to give you guys a look between the size of both figures. So, as expected, the Revelation will be bigger, completely different scale. I'm actually still surprised how big he was compared to the Motu Classics release. I was not expecting that at all. I expected them maybe to be closer to the same size, but this guy's huge. This guy is exactly how the Motu Classics release should have been, in my opinion, as far as the size and everything. So I'm definitely impressed there. And of course, let's take a look at the other side. Just want to give you guys a look. There's your comparison between the two there. Of course, the final look in this review is how the Motu Revelation Battle Cat looks with the Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man figure. As expected, fits on very well. It's the same scale, so He-Man is... Fits perfectly on him. No surprise there. They did a great job on him. I just don't have any other Revelation figures in hand just yet. All I have are Motu Classics and Origins and some others. So to give you guys a proper look at Revelation figures, will probably be in June 2021 as far as the rest. I only have Battle Cat in hand. So there's your comparison there, how... He-Man stands right next to him. Let's put him on again, giving you guys a look.
Here's a comparison between three different Battle Cat figures, Origins, Classic, and of course the Revelation release, which will, should be out around sometime next month. Again, pre-orders are not let, uh, yet live. I also want to talk about PowerCon 2021. I am extremely disappointed. I wanted to attend, but I wanted to see where we were with COVID, which is why I didn't uh, plan on going this year. As far as the handling of this year's exclusives and how fast that they sold out, I am extremely devastated, surprised, and very disappointed. I expected them, like probably PowerCon and Mattel, to be up at least another week, just like uh, last year's exclusives uh, were handled. However, these exclusives, in my opinion, were better than last year's, and I think that Mattel and PowerCon probably should have known better uh, what they had and what the fan demand would be and to make a quantity that would be uh, better targeted to uh, meet that demand. However, that did not happen. I'm still hoping to obtain these exclusives somehow. Uh, and for, After sitting there for an hour trying to place an order because the website kept crashing, I, however, was not able to, and they sold out uh, almost immediately on Big Bad before I can get an order in. So, again, I'm just extremely devastated this weekend. Uh, hopefully, 2022, I will be there, and uh, things will be much more smoothly. Uh, once there's an update, if there's any to share, I will be happy to share with you as far as availability, things like that. But PowerCon said Mattel most likely won't be making any more this year, which, again, stream, extremely disappointed to hear that. I really hope that changes with them because Masters of the Universe Origins, it's not just for the kids, but it's for the adults. So my recommendation for Mattel would be to go back into production and make sure you meet demands, especially for the people that are actually going to the convention I'm sure not everyone uh, that's going uh, got their order in, so it's extremely disappointing. Uh, my recommendation is to make it right, make those fans happy, as well as to uh, people like me that just uh, really want to have them because we're extremely uh, passionate about the brand. They definitely did a great job in the exclusives, and it's my opinion that everyone who wants one should have one. Uh, that is my recommendation there. Overall, this new Battle Cat figure is phenomenal. I think you guys are going to love it. Highly recommend that you pick up this line once it becomes available. Uh, he's big, he's beautiful, and again, I am just amazed just how bigger he was than the Motu Classics release when I first compared them. I was not expecting that. So that was a huge surprise. They definitely went above and beyond the Motu Classics release. How the Revelation figures will uh, measure up to Motu Classics remains to be seen. Whether they'll be taller than He-Man here and other characters, I don't know. So we're just going to have to wait to see how that plays out. I haven't seen uh, any comparisons yet myself until I uh, had uh, this Battle Cat figure in hand. But as far as the figures, such as He-Man, Skeletor, etc., we're just going to have to wait and see uh what happens there as far as scale wise. Overall, my recommendation is to pick it up. I think you will love it. These are uh, great figures. And watch the show when it uh, premieres on Netflix in uh, July 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Uh, please like and share this video as it tells YouTube to share it with more people. Have enjoy the rest of your weekend guys and stay tuned for more coverage.